What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is Killatron, and welcome back to some more Warframe. In today's episode, ladies and gentlemen, we are back here with Warframe. No more old footage or anything like that. We are back live. Well, not live, but, you know, up to date, I guess you could say. But, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be starting what off today... With, okay, hmm. goodness. I, I forgot yeah. how loud Ordis was. Operation, Ordis, you can you please? Well how the Tenno arm themselves. Ordis, Ordis, please do me a favor. Shut up! Oh man, I forgot just how loud Ordis can be. But I finally found all of the sound settings and I have everything turned down a bit. Hopefully it is still good for the video. But goodness, that dude almost blew my eardrums out. He is so... He's so loud, man. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we're starting off here in our arsenal, and that is because we have all of our equipment up to max rank, which means it's time to start swapping out to a brand new Warframe, as well as some brand new weapons. And it kind of pains me to say this, because Ember has been an amazing Warframe. I really really like this Warframe, especially for taking out large swaths of enemies. It's so good. It really is. I've enjoyed Ember, and I honestly think I'm going to miss Ember, because Ember has been a blast to play. However, some of the weapons that we're about to swap out, I wasn't super big fan of. So, uh, some things are going to be, you know, bad to lose, but other things are going to be, thank goodness they're gone, you know? <laughs> so, let's go ahead and swap out Ember, because we do have our next Warframe built, and that is Oberon. We started making this, I believe, at the end of the last episode, or maybe we got all of the parts for it, but hadn't finished making it yet. But anyway, Oberon is now done. We can go ahead and equip him. And he's looking pretty cool. I already did a paint job for him and everything, and he is looking... He's looking really nice, but we also need to go ahead and change out his weapons and all as well. So, the Gorgon, yeah, I'm not sad to see this one go. I really did not like this weapon at all. It was not one of my favorites. It's too slow of a shooter to start off with. Like, it's one of those uh, guns that the longer you hold the trigger, the faster it fires. And I'm just not a fan of that. I'd rather consistency whenever I shoot my weapon. So, we're going to be swapping over to the Burstin. This is a brand new weapon that we just made in the Foundry. And it is a three-round burst weapon. So, I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to like it. But it's something different and something for us to give a try. And something for us to get to max rank. So, we're going to continue using that guy. The Ferris... I like this guy. This is a good secondary weapon, and it's really good. It's really good. I like it. It's very consistent, but we need to swap it out, so let's go ahead and equip the Kraken. The Kraken looks a lot like the Gorgon, so I'm not going to lie to you. I'm a little bit worried about it, but hopefully it's good. I don't know. I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit torn on if I'm going to like this one. And last but not least, we have the dual Skana equipped right now, but we were using the Fragor, or the Fragger, which was a big hammer weapon, and I hated it. So I immediately sold it the second that I got it to max rank. I didn't even wait for the video to sell that stupid thing off. I couldn't stand that weapon anymore. So let's go ahead and swap out our dual Skana for a Heat Sword. This is a brand new weapon that we just made, and... I gotta admit, it looks pretty cool. Uh, it looks like it already has some upgrades on it. Looks like we have Vicious Frost and Iron Phoenix auto-equipped to it. Okay, I must have done this whenever I was setting up for today's uh, episode, but we're gonna have a, a little bit of cold damage as well as the Iron Phoenix fast-cutting attacks with puncture finishes uh, equipped as well. So that is our new loadout. We are unranked in absolutely everything, and before we continue with our main objectives, with our main missions, it's probably going to be good because we are now on Ceres, which is a fairly difficult uh, planet. It's probably going to be better for me to start off with a Lith mission, or not a Lith mission. What do you guys call these? You guys don't like me calling these lith missions um even though they're called lith fissures whatever i think you guys want me to call these relics relic missions void fissures whatever you want to call them i think i may do a couple of these just to get my uh my equipment started started going and then after that we'll go and continue on with the stories over here at uh series and start working through that planet so 
I'm going to go ahead and jump into one of these real quick. Try and get us a couple levels just so we can upgrade our mods on our weapons. And then we'll continue on with it. I don't know what which one of these I want to use. Let's just throw one on. It doesn't particularly matter. I just want the extra experience. And we're going into a public lobby as well. So that is nice. I will see you guys after this mission. Alrighty, ladies and gents, we are back, and I now have a few levels on each piece of gear, so I'm a little bit better equipped. I have some damage modifiers on some things, so we're not just hitting absolute complete garbage anymore, and we're actually able to do some decent damage to enemies. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off from public onto solo mode, and we are going to begin knocking out some of these series missions by starting on Bode or Bodhi. I'm not entirely sure how to say this, but it is a spy mission and I haven't done a solo spy mission in a long time. And even whenever you do spy missions in public matches, people just know how to do all of them. So they just run through them so quickly and I don't actually get to learn each of the vaults and how to do them. So I actually do still like playing Warframe solo, at least the first time that I do uh, a mission just so that I can kind of get the full experience because if you're playing with advanced players all the time you don't really get to enjoy going through a mission like this you know so it's kind of one of those things where I still like to play solo at at some point you know uh, anyway we are doing like I said a lot better damage than we were we're doing like I think we just hit a 850 with that sword did I did I see that number right no way I mean, I hit some big numbers there. <laughs> We're doing pretty good. Our sword is doing very good, in fact. It's probably the thing that we have leveled up the most, so I'm happy with it. All right, so this lady is talking about increased security measures. Seems to me like I'm just chopping through all the competition, so uh, I don't know what she's talking about. I really don't. <laughs> all right, let's head over to our first vault and give it a look. See how it's going. Get out of here, buddy. Nice. All right. And I'm guessing it is down here. Yep. All right. First vault. Let's see what we got. Reset alarms. Oh, did they trigger them? There we go. Alarms are off. Oh, good job, Shiva. I didn't even see that guy. All right. Let's hack this security. Trigger the alarms now, and they will start destroying the data. Alright, you guys gotta get out of here. I'm trying to do a vault. In case you guys didn't notice. Alright, I'm not sure how much I like this uh, three-round burst weapon thus far. I think if I added a bit higher fire rate to where I could, uh, I could just spam out the three-round burst, it wouldn't be as bad, but... Anyway, okay, so we're here in this vault. No, I don't know what that is, but it just shocked me. Have we done this vault before? I think we have, okay. So let's do this. If it'll let me. Oh, come on. <laughs> come on. All right. Let's do this again. I I'm pretty sure we have done this vault before, actually. Yeah, we got we to gotta wall run this thing absolutely perfectly. And then not get caught down there. Dang it. <laughs> My movement skills are uh, not as good as they used to be, obviously. There we go. Got it up here this time. All right. Now this way. And where do we hop down? I guess we got to go up here. Yeah, because we're still not in the vault room. Now I'm in the vault room. Perfect. Yeah, that, that was an easy vault. Okay. Let's go ahead and open this one up. Data extracted. All right, we can go ahead and head out of here. What's in these? Anything good? Affinity? 
All right, we're fine. Yeah, that was pretty. That was a pretty easy vault room. We've done that one before. That one's not bad. All right, let's head over to Vault B. Later, dude. And seems like there's not a lot of enemies throughout here, to be honest with you. Are there more enemies in a public lobby than there are in a single lobby? I guess it would make sense if that's the case. All right, how do I get over to Vault B? Hello! <laughs> that dude never saw it coming. The target console is nearby. If you trigger the alarms now, the enemy will start destroying data. Okay, so we're right in the vault here. Okay, let's see. I guess I gotta open this up. Watch yourself. Grenier are on the way. Okay. Oh, I remember this one. Huh? Come on. Come on. I gotta catch this. There we go. And now we just fall through. Yeah, you just go straight up to the top. Uh, there's one of these panels is missing. Yep, right there. And straight in. Beautiful. A clean extraction. With no clean extraction. All right, how do I get out of here now? <laughs> uh, we can just go this way, I guess. Since we already have this stuff out, doesn't particularly matter how we go back. Yeah, but this one's pretty easy as well. We've already done this vault before. I feel like I'm getting some repeat vaults for spy missions now, and I'm guessing that's just going to be how it goes. Uh, a lot of these are going to, you know, kind of just get a little bit harder, a couple more sensors, but if you know how to do them, then they're still not bad. You know what I mean? So, I think we're good. Thank you for dying finally, buddy. All right. There we go. There we go. Oh, have I gotten my new ability yet? Let's see. Oh, I did. Yes. Okay, so this is a flame veil of some sort. And basically, whenever things walk into that, into that what looks like grass, they will actually take damage. So it's pretty cool. Uh, dude, why are you not even... This guy wasn't even looking at me. So it's actually pretty cool. It's kind of like a uh, you place it in an area where people are constantly running through that area. And it'll uh, it'll basically keep them back from us. So it's pretty useful. Where is... Oh, hi. Where's this vault at? Who's shooting at me? Your gun here is still not doing great damage. Where's this vault at? Oh, it was above me. Okay. This way. Alright, perfect. I guess let's reset the alarms first. Beautiful. Stop! There we go. <laughs> you got wrecked. All right. Now into the vault. Sorry about that, guys. Getting a little bit distracted here. If you trigger the alarms now, the enemy will start destroying data. Okay. Go away. Okay. Are you guys serious? Are you guys serious right now? Leave me alone. I'm trying to do this vault. Okay. Back into here. So, take out that sensor. 
Take out this fan. I think... Beautiful. They won't even know it's gone. We have Data extracted. Get to extraction. Yeah, we've done this vault before too, and it's pretty easy. All right, to the extraction point, ladies and gentlemen. That was a fairly simple mission because we've done all of those vaults before. Perfect. All right, so back over here at the star chart, and we now have Sinzia. Sinzia? I don't know what this, uh, how to say this word, but it is an interception mission. Let's go ahead and give it a try. We also have two more nodes unlocked, so we'll give some of those a try a little bit later on. But for right now, interception mission. I don't exactly remember what these assignments were. Like, I don't remember what that mission name means. Um, I guess once we actually jump into this mission These here though towers carry top secret uh, let's see communications you are going to capture the towers and decode incoming messages ah okay so this is one of those where you hold three points I actually really like these so these are pretty fun so we're going to neutralize this area We're going to neutralize this area, we're going to turn it into our area, and then we're just going to defend it. Yeah, these are actually really fun missions. Who's shooting at me? Tower captured. Beginning stream to code now. No, sir. I don't know what this is and why you're on it. Okay. That's going to be kind of a problem. Alright, let's go grab some other towers real quick. Let's grab this one. This one's going to be easy enough to defend. And basically, we have to beat out the the other guys from taking it back. Okay. Yeah, this is like a, a back and forth type of mission where we're going to continue catching uh, each one of these towers. And we need to keep two of them at all times. This one's a lot better done in a party, actually. Okay, so there's one interface that we need to guard. The enemy have taken a tower. You must recapture it. Oh, I may not be able to do this, guys. I may actually have to do this one in a party. Because there are a lot of things coming over here. All right, let's see if I can get a third one real quick. All right. Cool. This one's done. All right, so basically it's just running around between all of them and making sure you always have one captured. All right, saying that we have A... How do we lose control of it? We're right here. Oh, this one's going to be hard. I can let you know that right now. This is not going to be easy. Tower captured. All right. Stream to code now. This tower's back. Okay, so we have to beat them. Like, if you see up in the top left-hand corner, there's percentage bars, and we have to make sure that we have more percentage than they do. No, sir. Where are you guys attacking? No, sir. All right. They're attacking D. I'm at D. They ain't attacking D no more. Good job. All right, so this one's held. They got to be coming after another one. C. 
Where are you guys at? Later, boys. Go ahead and come after A. A's on lock. Later, homie. Oh, wow. You had a lot of health. C. Which one's C? Up here? The enemy has captured a tower. Yeah, they took C from me. All right, that's fine. We got it. We're getting it back. We're getting it back. We're good. We're fine. All right, C's back ours. Got that dude. All right, and that one's done as well. Where do they take it from? There must be another console for this area that I don't know about. Oh no! Oh wow, okay, we went down quickly. Hold X to revive. All right, we're gonna have to start using our abilities big time. Where are these guys taking it from? We have lost control of a tower. All right, we're taking this one back. This tower is ours now. There we go. I'm going to use my abilities on the actual interfaces themselves. That way these guys can't like just run up to it and get it without taking damage. You have captured a radio tower. Aha! Here's the other terminal. Found it. Alright, take this one back. We have decoded the message. Alright. Enemies must not report back to their command. Eliminate everyone. Eliminate everyone. Fierce reinforcements. Are you willing to stay and decode? Uh, no, we're actually going to extract. capture another signal. Be careful, though. The enemy has surely rallied stronger reinforcements. And the reason that I'm going to extract is because I would rather do missions like this uh, with a group because it's a whole lot easier to hold. And then you can do multiple levels of this. But, uh, yeah, for right now, we're going to ignore that interception mission and we'll do that a little bit later on, and we'll do that with a group of people. In fact, maybe I'll even do it with a group of you guys, uh, if you guys have joined our Discord. Maybe I'll add a couple of you guys, and we will tackle some of these interception missions and stuff like that together, and just get a little bit of leveling up and such going on. But, okay, looks like we have a rescue mission here, and a defense mission here. I think we're going to do one more for today's episode, and I think we're going to knock out this rescue mission, or maybe... Do we just go up toward Thon? What is Thon? I don't know what Thon is. It looks like a ship, though. Let's go to Mobile Defense. Let's go to Mobile Defense, and then if Thon is a boss, we'll do Thon in today's episode as well, because it's been a while. It's been a while, and I know you guys have missed doing the Warframe content, so if we can do a boss today, that would be really cool. So let's see what we got. Go ahead and drop out of here. All right, what is Mobile Defense? I forgot what this, this one is. is a mobile defense mission. You must deliver payloads and defend a number of locations while I break into the network. Be prepared for heavy resistance. Heavy resistance? Psh. I don't care. I don't care. Bring on the resistance. Woohoo! Slice and dice, baby. All right, where are we going? Terminal spotted. Upload me and prepare to defend. Oh, I got to defend this area? Okay, let's go. Uh. This will only get more difficult. Get to a terminal and prepare for enemy resistance. Requires data mass. Oh, did I not grab something at the beginning of the mission? Oh, I'm an idiot. Hold on, got to go back. I didn't grab the data mass at the beginning of the mission. <laughs> oh, whoopsie. I'm stupid. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Everyone's going to yell at me in the chat. They're going to be like, you idiot. You didn't grab it. I know. I'm sorry. 
Let me grab this. <laughs> oh, I for completely forgot that I needed to grab that. Nobody knows you're here. Nobody knows I'm here. Well, they just saw me run back through the level twice, so I have a feeling that they probably know I'm here now. Just taking a guess on that one. All right, there we go. Data mass is good. This will take a moment. That's fine. I'm just gonna just gonna slice and dice all of these dudes as they come through. Boom! Have some flames. Got him. Still working on it. Continue to defend. I saw you sneaking over here. Don't think I didn't see you. <laughs> Hello. Fire! Fire that totally looks like grass. <laughs> Hello. Next. Area completed. Move on. All right. Let's go grab our data mass. Oh, Shiva, you took him out. Good job. All right. Data mass. Goodness. This Kraken's no joke, huh? This is the first time I've shot it. It sounds like a monster, but it really doesn't do all that much damage. Interesting. Alright, where are we going now? Hello? <laughs> that dude just exploded. Alright, let's go this way. Hello? Nice. Good job, Shiva. Bite at his ankles. Location All right, reached. another data mass Drop location in. thingy. All right, let's swap over from that Kraken. I'm not a not a huge fan of it. It's okay, I guess. I feel like it needs to be one of those like one shot, one kill weapons, though. If it's gonna have that kind of boom that it makes when fired. It needs to like actually, actually put things down, you know? Cause it sounds extremely loud. Still working on it. Later Continue dude. To defend. Tenno, get ready. A prosecutor is approaching. A prosecutor? What's that? What's a prosecutor? Are you a prosecutor? I don't know what a prosecutor is. Keep moving. Okay. I guess prosecutor doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm guessing the prosecutor was easy. All right. Whatever. Uh, we don't need to go this way, I guess. Uh, let's grab this. Let's grab all of this stuff because I am a little bit low on credits and stuff right now because I've I've been doing a bit of crafting to prepare for future episodes, so... Hi there. I don't know what you are. Oh, you're the prosecutor! Hi there! Good work. You have proven the prosecutors are not invincible. Well, yeah, I just sliced and diced him up. Just like everything else. Hi there. Yeah, that prosecutor was nothing. <laughs> you just got wrecked. Alright, where are we going now? Alright, up there it looks like. See if I can find a easy way around there. An easy enough way around there, I guess. Hi there. 
All right, defend. I'm in, Tenno. This will take a moment. Ow! Hi there. And slice and dice. Not bad. And he's done. Oh wow, you guys got over here quickly, huh? Get off of the terminal. All right, get rid of that sniper. I need you guys to, oh, I can't use my, my ability, apparently. Right. What is this thing? Oh, he's dead now, I guess. The odds were against us, Tenno, but we Woo! Did. Nice. Mission complete. Heads up. A Grenier assault team is headed your way. A Grenier assault team? You mean these guys I've been beating the snot out of this entire time? Later, dudes. All right, let's get to extraction. We don't need to spend any more time in here. Oh, hi there. Who's this beefy boy? Hello, beefy boy. Oh, you're dead now. Later, beefy boy. All right. And we're 90 meters from extraction. Hi there. <laughs> All right, extraction's right here. This big old platform. All right, easy enough mission. Anything that we got that was good. I mean, the organ cells are always good to have. Carbides, I don't think I've gotten one of those before. A jab lock capacitor using construction of jab locks. I don't know what that is either. Okay, but hey, 105 melee kills. I would say that we're doing pretty good with this heat sword. <laughs> it's nice having a melee weapon that doesn't suck anymore. This one's actually pretty good. Uh, it's up to rank 14 already. I imagine we'll be done with it pretty quickly because I do like using it. It's a very nice weapon. All right, let's go ahead and examine the arsenal, see if I can get any upgrades, and then I do want to see, was that a boss mission that we were leading toward? Let's see. If we head over to the star chart, Thon is a sabotage mission. Okay, so it's not a boss mission. That's uh, that's a bit disappointing. Yeah, that's a bit disappointing. All right, well, I think that's going to be where I wrap up for today's episode, ladies and gentlemen. We have a brand new Warframe with a ton of new gear. In the next episode, we will continue working our way through series and hopefully end up over here at the junction for Jupiter. We have a little bit more... Uh, things that we need to do. We need to defeat Vor and Krill at Exta on Ceres. So where is Exta? That is here. Okay, so we need to uh, complete Nuovo and then Exta, and then we'll head over here and then survive 10 minutes or more at Draco. Where is Draco at? Draco's over here. Okay, so we'll have, we got a little bit more to do. So maybe we'll have one more episode and then the Jupiter Junction. Maybe. We'll have to see. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I do hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like on the video. As well as if you're new around here, be sure to subscribe. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it for me today. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. You guys have a great day.